Hello again rock stars. So today I'm super excited because I am going to put up what is probably my all-time favorite video to watch on YouTube. I love watching these videos. I will binge watch them for hours and hours and hours at home. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that is favorites. So today I'm going to be doing my March favorites for you. I am so weirded out that it's already almost April. Um, by the time this video gets up, it probably will be April. So happy birthday for all my April birthdays. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the nitty gritty, the March favorites 2015. First things first, I want to talk about something that's not makeup related, it's more skincare related, and it is probably like the most amazing skincare product I've ever found ever. What I'm talking about is the Best Damn Beauty Best Damn Beauty Oil. Uh, this is, of course, the lovely Nicole Guerrero skincare line. She's a genius. She did an amazing job. I would probably go out and buy this if it was like three, four, five hundred dollars, but it's not. I believe these are $34.95. I'm not 100% sure, but I will definitely leave the price in the description box as well as a link to her website where you can get this. If you are like me and you have oily skin, it's great to use a beauty oil either at night, probably at night. If you have oily skin, you don't want to use something like this during the day because you will get that oil slick look really, really easily. However, oil is really good for oily skin because you're tricking your skin into thinking that it doesn't need to produce as much oil, um, which is really, really nice and will help um, your skin be healthier and more radiant looking rather than oily, greasy, crazy mess. Um, this is really good for people with dry skin too, just to help hydrate. Um, I love this particular beauty oil because you can use this everywhere. Your face, your hair, your nails, your elbows, your knees, arms, legs, anywhere you can think of, this will go on your body and it's just amazing. And sticking with skincare, this is the only other thing that I have to show you um, this month. This and this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Therapy. Um, it says, used to hydrate dry, parched skin, relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema or other conditions for face and elsewhere. This jar, for one thing, is huge. And I believe this was $28. I'm not 100% sure. Again, I will leave all of the prices and where you can get these products in the bottom bar, so be sure to check that out. I've had this particular jar for a few months now and it doesn't even look like I've dented it. I don't know if you can even see that. I'm probably just blinding you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so you can kind of see like it's barely just dented. I've got a long way to go. I will take about this much and um, put it on my fingers, rub it together, and dab all over my face at night. Um, not during the day because, again, I am oily and this will produce a ton of oil for me during the day if I'm not careful. Um, but usually what I do is I just kind of pat just like so until it's like fully rubbed into the skin. Um, but it's great. I will, you know wash my face at night, do the Best Damn Beauty Oil, and then go in with the Ultra Repair Cream. And when I wake up the next morning, my face is just like, oh, like, it, oh my god. It's the greatest feeling ever. Like, I love to touch my face, and I'm just like, oh, I, like, I don't want to wash it again in the morning. It feels so good, but, 
let's be real you gotta wash your face in the morning it's just what you do the tart tartlet palette now this has been all over YouTube lately um, and for a good reason these shadows are amazing they're all matte the price is right like it's just like look at that it's just okay let's zoom you in like let's look at how pretty and neutral but still like fun they are like I could make a like dark purple smoky eye with this I could do super natural look I can you know do all kinds of things just with this one palette which is awesome it makes it great for travel I would use just these shadows every day and be fine like I don't think I need anything else of course I'm a makeup junkie and it's a problem so I want anything and everything and I have a bunch of other stuff but if you're one of those people that like, just getting into makeup or you you know don't necessarily want to spend the money on high-end makeup or anything like that this is still a great product for you just because you know you're getting the quality of a high-end makeup the price point is pretty good I believe this was forty six dollars um, but again link will be in the description box below and it'll sh tell you everything um, but either way you get I believe it's 16 yeah 16 shadows you know you have three that are really dark and smoky and then you have a bunch of really nice neutral colors and they're neutral for any skin tone as well like you don't have to worry about being too light or too dark or too yellow or too pink or too peach for the eyeshadows in this palette they work for everybody it's just amazing I love them sticking with eyes one other thing that I have been loving this month is the Makeup Geek um, Loose Pigment. This is in the color Jackpot. And you can see it's a super pretty yellowy tone. I'm not a huge fan of the color yellow just in general. Like I like it for, you know, underneath my eyes. And I do tend to buy a more yellow base foundation because I do have a lot of redness. However, the color itself, I don't want to put it on my eyes, I don't want to put it on my body, I, I just am not a fan. But this is so pretty. Like, I wore it, where did I wear it? I think I wore it just to, like, bring my sister to dance one day, because I, for some reason, have to be glamazon when I bring Haley to dance. But, I, like, my eyes are green. Sometimes they're blue, you know, sometimes they're kind of that, like, in-between grayish color. But I've never in my life had the brightest, most ridiculously green eyes ever until the day that I wore this. And, it, oh my goodness, I love. Like, there's, like, not much else I can say. It's just, it, it's so beautiful. It's super super messy so I didn't want to like take it out to swatch it for you but I will just because I love it that much it's stuck can't get the cap off and I don't want to try and force it because pigment is gonna go all over my living room and that's the last thing I need to be cleaning up right now um, but if I can get this open and get a good swatch I will um, Put a picture of it somewhere right here so you can see what it looks like it's so gorgeous so worth the hype makeup geek in general is just so worth the hype they have amazing amazing products for amazing amazing prices they're like it's like high-end mac makeup at target prices in my personal opinion one of the greatest makeup lines out there so definitely check them out I will link them down below also along with the price of this bad boy I have two more products for eyes and then a couple other little odds and ends and then we're done um, this 
is something that I'm sure everybody knows about. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Kajal, Cold Kajal Pencil, excuse me, in the color Nude. Um, it looks just like this. Can you see that? Oh, hello, maybe. Can you see it? It looks super orange right here. But I put this in my lower waterline almost every day. Like, even when I don't wear makeup, I'll put this under my waterline just to kind of open up my eyes, make them look brighter. It's beautiful, and I... I've never tried a higher end um, nude slash skin tone colored um, waterline pencil. I will definitely try some more out and let you know what I think. But uh, Rimmel Scandalize for the win, guys. Last eye product that I have for you is this bad boy right here. This is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, I believe in the color brunette. I've said this a hundred million times already, I'm probably a broken record, but I've used this thing so much that the entire um, label has come off. It's super, super natural looking, uh, right there for you. I was pressing eh, medium hard. Usually when I do my brows, I just kind of go lightly just like so, and you probably can't really even see it. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Um, that's usually about how I do my brows. It is super natural. I love that it comes with the spoolie on this end too so that I can go and get in there comb everything out and make everything nice and flawless. I love it. I don't think I will ever use another brow product um, to fill in my brows than this one. And for face makeup products, I only have one thing for you. It is my go-to at the moment, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the number 10 light. It is a wand applicator concealer. It goes on really nicely. I'm sure everybody and their mother has heard about this. I've been told it is a great dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I don't know if that's true or not. I've never tried the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have heard so many mixed reviews about it and it is really expensive so I don't know if I want to spend the money. If you want to know from me for a fact which I think is better, this or the NARS concealer, let me know. I personally don't think it's going to be better than this, um, because for the price point, you can't go wrong with this. This is a great concealer for, I think I paid $5 for this. Again, price will be in the bottom bar down below, but you can find this at Target, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Ulta. This is so easily accessible and so easy to use and it's just, it's amazing. Um, I, as of right now, couldn't live without it. I only have one makeup application favorite and that is this little guy right here. This is the Beauty Blender. This is the black one, uh, the pro one. I also have the pink one, which I believe you've seen me use before in a video, if I remember correctly. Um, but they're exactly the same to me. I don't know what the difference is between the black one and the pink one. I got them in a set together from Sephora this last year as a holiday... Um, collection kind of kit thing but these are really pricey these are $19.95 per little baby sponge like this 
it is so worth it. You need this in your life, whether you apply makeup professionally, just apply it on yourself, don't really apply makeup at all. It's, it's I, there's, I can't even speak that is, like, I have no words for how amazing I think this is. It's just, it's great. Real Techniques sells a sponge kind of like this. Um, I believe they're $5.99 at Ulta and I think you can get them at Walmart. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a huge Walmart goer um, so I couldn't say for a fact um, but I know Ulta has them. $5.99 is the price point. I am 110% positive about that one. If you don't feel like spending $20 on a little sponge, definitely try out that one. I have tried that one out. I personally think the Beauty Blender is better, but that's a whole different video for a whole different day. Um, Beauty Blender you can get at Sephora for $19.95, um, Amazon, beautyblender.com. There's a bunch of places. I'll leave a few of them down in the description box if you want to check it out. Last but certainly not least, this is probably my most favorite favorite of the month. And it's not really a favorite of the month. It's like a favorite of my life like since these came out I think they are wonderful and amazing and you need them in your life and what I'm talking about is drum roll please Too Faced melted liquefied lipsticks what is it liquefied longwear lipstick is the legitimate name on the package these are my three favorite colors of the moment I have Melted Chihuahua and Melted Berry which is what is on my lips today if you're wondering and my absolute holy grail favorite Melted Villain. Let me swatch these for you because they are Oh, first of all, they have this cute little like foamy sort of applicator. It's so nice and so soft and it just, I like, I, I'll put it on my lips and I'll just be like, uh, back and forth forever because it's so luxurious. Um, this is, here I'm going to try and show you. Worst watch ever, be warned. But this is just one swipe of Melted Chihuahua. That is some pigmented color and it is so gorgeous. I love mauve nude colors like this just in general. Um, then Melted Berry, I'm not really going to swatch for you because again what I've got on my lips right now. Ah, oh, love. Oh, so beautiful. This one. Oh my gosh. Oh, Melted Villain is my life. I have been looking for this for months ever since I found out that it was being launched back in like early December I have been on the hunt for Melted Villain and this is why right here ready <gasps> oh super dark Super pigmented, amazingly gorgeous, dark purple vampy color. I'm so sad when it. I finally got a hold of this because it was the middle of March and it's springtime. Nobody wants to wear dark vampy lips. I have a darker vampier lip on today, 
but I just I don't know I, I was feeling it today I'm just oh I just I yeah I I just I can't I just can't I just oh love greatest lip color ever period the end these are $21 at Sephora and Ulta also you you can get them from TrueFace.com but if you're like me and you cannot wait to get your hands on things that you're buying and you need that instant gratification Ulta and Sephora are the place to go um, I do have yet to see this particular color in a Sephora um, but they did have them at my Ulta in Woodbury okay so that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed my first ever favorites video. This is something I plan on doing monthly as much as possible. Again, I love favorites videos. I think they're just a favorite in general for people on YouTube to love. It's like, it's a great way to kind of trial and error and like see what products you are thinking about but maybe not wanting to purchase because you don't know you know like what other people's thoughts are and stuff like that um, if you did like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what other videos you would like to see also let me know what your favorites are this would not be monthly favorites without me knowing what you liked and disliked things that maybe I haven't tried that I want to try and vice versa so yeah let me know thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed